The perfect plan would be to have a three-year program where the students would learn not just the business skills or the guiding skills, uh, but also a lot of traditional knowledge, ceremony, culture, language from, that's brought in from Takla, as well as having a, a high school um, diploma at the end. So, I mean, if that all comes together, it would be an awesome three-year program, right? I was given the opportunity to document a few days of the Driftwood Valley Apprenticeship Program this last week. During the week, Michael explained the idea of the program and what it hopes to accomplish. In the few days I was there, I noticed how unique of an opportunity this would provide for our youth who might have difficulties excelling in the standard education system. The hands-on experience made every educational activity blend in with play. And what caught me off guard the most was how expressive and interactive the boys were. Playful personalities made the trip feel like it was over way too soon. Um, my name is David Coombs and I'm from Takla. Your ankle is already broken. Face shot. Hit him with the right Hit him with the left. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. We've been trapping for a bit. Um, just got these logs, peeled them. It's been chilling. Pretty much. That's a nice treat. I'm Pierre Charlie and I'm from Takla. Start right here. There's actually two, but you could follow one, right? It's fun. We laugh every night. We stay up to like one, laughing. <laughs> and then our stomachs hurt and we just fall asleep. My name is Levi LaRock. I am from Prince George. Do you think you've, you've learned a lot of stuff? Yeah. Um, Desmond, I'm from uh, Takla, aka Dizzy Des. <laughs> doing pretty good ever since the other two boys came up well, like since it was like the two of us for like the first two weeks once these two came up we started doing stuff it's going all right yeah takes it so far oh it's been good um kids are kind of responding well seem to like the bush a little bit attracted to the fun things more so than the work-esque things that's all a bit of a practice thing and then uh slowly show, we'll work them in and get them up to speed as important as having fun is, the main purpose of the apprenticeship is educational. Michael explained to me that the main outcome set is to have the kids understand the tourism sector of the territory with an emphasis on guiding. So when we started talking about it, uh, you know, in introducing uh, tourism to the community, it was more, the thought was around an internship. And then it evolved from there into, it could be an apprenticeship, learning all the skills um, and they're brought, you know, from uh, guiding clients to cooking for them, the marketing, developing product, um, you know, looking at game patterns, density, population changes. Um, these all play a role, and you can't learn that in in a short trip or something. It's a longer process, so. Um, it doesn't exist here in this industry for tourism, so we thought, you know what, if it doesn't exist, let's just do it. It's a three-year apprenticeship program, we'll just build it and see how it goes. We can adjust, nothing is written in stone, um, offered to a couple of students, and um, you know, if, if they have a passion in the outdoors and in their culture and on the land, and you, you can build all sorts of different um, tourism experiences out of that. Though the program is already well underway, it still has one major barrier to cross, 
Approval from the school district is required in order to recognize the apprenticeship as a high school diploma for the kids. Michael and his son Renee have already taken several steps in order to ensure they have reached the district's requirements. We had a meeting with the school district uh, and um, your youth and elder uh, um, liaison. Um, and we talked about learning outcomes, uh, possible credits that need to be uh, accumulated and to get any kind of a, like a high school um, diploma or, or, or graduation. So Renee spent the last month and a half uh, dissecting the government um, curriculum uh, learning outcomes and trying to see how things we do on the land uh, or projects that we do or the marketing, the product development, cabin building, uh, even fishing, fly fishing, tying flies, archery, whatever it is that we do, how, how do you convert that into learning outcomes or how, how can you match these things so that they're actually lessons that are learned outside of a classroom setting. It was clear to me that the staff all had an open-minded approach to the program, with the kid experience and education being the key indicator on their success. With approval from the school district and support from our community, the opportunities that can come from this program are endless. Whether it be a high-risk youth divergent or a new way to build tactless future tourism sector, this is something worth paying attention to. What I see, above anything else, is that the Driftwood Valley Apprenticeship teaches our youth land-based knowledge by placing their education back on our traditional territories. That, to me, is priceless. And what are, you, uh, what are some of the messages you want to send back to your parents if they're watching this or your family back home? Mm, I love you. I don't know if that's my dad or my mom, and I love you too. I don't know which one is the video. I don't know. Say, say hi to your family back home. Hello. Well, my mom, I miss you. I know you're in Prince and other people in Takla. Hopefully everything's going fine. I'm doing fine here with the boys. Yeah, it's everything, man. Well, Dizzy Dez out. Yeah, Dizzy Dez is out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun. Doing all right. In need of some money. I just want money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's good. You can get out of here. Okay. Go get a. Uh, Pierre's still busy. Stez, Stez over there. Mhm. Mm send Des over. Hey.